I also am trying to be more consistent with my gratitude journal. Uh, I do this in the mornings and in the evenings and I'm finding that it's been very helpful to help me stay positive because as someone who overthinks in going through this time period, I tend to sometimes be too negative, especially on myself. So it's nice to start the day writing positive things and just being grateful for the opportunities that I have. I still work on my mobility every day however it is restricted in terms of the movements that i can do it's still nice to find certain movements that i can do without putting pressure on my core area i want to be as mobile as possible it's not only great for the body but i don't want to go back into training especially when i have a lot of complex movements and i want to still be able to perform them you know things like overhead squats olympic lifting pistol squats i want to keep my body mobile so that i don't regress when it comes to my training Oh, nothing like a nice cup of tea in this, uh, it's fairly cold, but I don't mind it. Recovery update, it's almost three weeks, so I'm past the stage of it, it. The pain is subsiding, so it's not that bad anymore. I think after seven days where the, the where I had the incisions was, it was just itchy. Like I'm talking 3 a.m. in the morning, I, it woke me up. For a few days, it went, went on like that. And uh, my friend Cam, she had surgery and she said exactly the same thing happened. And I was reading up and it, it's because of it's recovering. So I was a little bit worried that something was wrong. It's been, uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I basically had surgery on my abdomen, two incisions, and um, I can't train for six to eight weeks. So someone who's very active. I train six days a week, two days 
two sessions a day sometimes and it's been yeah it's been a challenge but I you know set myself an action plan of things that I needed to do to make sure that I stay on track and to keep me fairly active and to also track and monitor my um, recovery and you know one thing I decided that I was going to do is use my whoop and my whoop journal to keep track of my sleep and recovery. Those of you who aren't aware, whoop is this fitness tracker that I wear. I've been sponsored by whoop for about four years almost. I use whoop to track my sleep, strain, my recovery, and it has been an absolute game changer in my health and fitness. It's been interesting using it to not necessarily focus on straight so my recovery was going great and all of a sudden um, like I mentioned I was having interrupted sleep because of the irritation and the itchiness so uh, my recovery was affected by that but one of my goals was to make sure I walk 12 to, to I do 12 to 15,000 steps a day something that's been really cool is most of us myself included we use a lot of our health and fitness wearable to track strain right so it's been a nice change to use it to actually not focus on strain so much but trying to improve on my sleep and my recovery so if you're looking to take your health and fitness to the next level you have to check out whoop and i'll put the link in my description you get your first month free and a free whip strap of your choice. I mean, this is a pretty cool one too, but you can get whichever one you want. Thank you so much to Whoop for being a long time partner. I'm fasting till about, I would say about one o'clock, one, two o'clock. So I'm going to head out now to do some work. <laughs> Hard at work, are we? Oh, this, is, this is what they pay him for, look. Yeah, easy easy job. So, uh, just a, a different logo. So this, this color is, I think, it yeah, has a blue. So what I was going to do is maybe just go with the standard black and the hoodie. So similar to this. First meal now starts around 12 to 1 p.m. I usually have three meals a day and very little snacking in between. I'm not as active, so I'm making sure to keep my macros lower than usual. Now, I don't count my macros, so I just reduce portion size each meal. I'm finding that I don't have much of an appetite. Yes, I know this is very rare for me due to not being so active. So I have to remind myself to eat and not skip meals. I also try and not comfort eat, which I have done in the past. My relationship with food is very complex, uh, especially from when I used to do bodybuilding. So what I do is I try not to have slacks in the house because I will just eat them all without hesitation. <laughs> So I decided to finally get a wireless mic because of the echo in my apartment. So hopefully the sound quality will be so much better. And yes, you're going to judge me for this one. I have finally got Ugg boots. I know what you're thinking and I don't blame you for judging me, but they keep my feet warm and they're very comfortable. <laughs> I've got these pink jeans from weekday. They are boot cut oversized jeans and I just want to see what it looks like. I'm trying to be more experimental with the way I dress, if that makes sense. So yeah, 
It's a funny story. I used to work in Selfridges and I used to think that Houndstooth was for the older generation. And well, 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 I guess the tables have turned. <laughs> Give us a little Christmassy. Christmassy. <laughs> 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 no worries. 